Hi, I'm Jana. Hi, I'm Daniel. Uh, we figured that a lot of people are spending more time at home at the moment, so we thought we'd make a little video about letter locking to help you with something fun to do. Now is a really great time to write letters to friends and family, and if you lock them too, that's going to make it extra special for the person receiving the letter. So we want to show you three kinds of letter locking that you can do at home. You can use any piece of paper. I've just got some printer paper here. You don't need any special tools or equipment, but if you have maybe some glue or, or some sticky tape or some stickers, they're going to come in handy and we can show you why. But all you need is a piece of paper. So if you enjoy this, we've got lots more videos on our YouTube and Vimeo letter locking channels. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, let's show you some letters. First method we're going to show you is called the Russian Triangle. So you'll write your letter to a friend or family or to yourself. Okay. And you'll take your sheet of paper and you're going to take the top corner and you're gonna make what's called a diagonal fold. And you're gonna align that top edge with the long opposite side edge. Then you're gonna take the opposite corner and do the same thing. And it's gonna make your, hat, your piece of paper look like a house. Then you're going to turn your house into a boat by doing these teeny tiny little corner folds that kind of align with this bottom edge of your big triangle. And then you're going to fold up along that edge where the top triangle meets the bottom part of your paper. And now you've got this little flappy bit. Now you're going to do the tuck. You can't tuck here because it'll keep flapping. But you can tuck right here between this top edge near you. So you take the bottom of the sheet of paper. And you're going to tuck it in the triangle and you have this paper engineered loft letter with no adhesive that you can put a stamp on and we'll do that so we don't need to stick this down it's going to hold itself together you can write an address on here and you can stick a stamp on and that goes in the mail yep number one done so i'm going to show you a slightly different kind of letter <clears throat> We're going to take our letter as before and we're going to write it and I'm just going to write hi again to save time. So I've written on my letter, I have it facing me. What I'm going to do now is do a letter called the tuck and seal. So you're going to fold from the top downwards by about one third. Don't worry about being exact, we just want to fold down roughly speaking one third from the top. So I'm going to show you again. And we want to put some nice sharp creases in. And then we're going to take the bottom, this bottom edge, and fold it up again by about a third. It doesn't have to go to the top. We just want to make a nice long strip like this. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your left edge and fold it in like this. So it's not going to go all the way, it's going to end up about here. We put some nice sharp creases in again. And then you need to take this bit and you're going to fold it this way so that it ends up roughly in the middle of your packet. And we'll see why in a second. We're going to put another nice sharp crease in there. Then you need to tuck this longer one into this shorter one. So you're going to give this one a bit of a squeeze to open up that pocket like we did with the Russian triangle. And then we're going to take this flap and tuck it into that pocket. 
You might need a bit of squeezing, you might need a bit of mushing around like mine does, but in the end, that will slide in there really nice and neatly. Okay, so we now have one panel tucked inside the other. And what we need to do now is secure it. So if you're a letter writer writing in history, what you could do is you could put a blob of wax on here. Um, and Jan is going to show us how to do that. And then I'm going to show you a different method because um, not many people have wax guns lying around like we do. But Jan is going to show you how they would have done it in history using wax. So you put a blob of wax over the top. Well, they wouldn't have used a wax gun, but they would have used a hot substance like wax, sealing you wax. Sealing wax, you make it hot and you add it. They didn't yeah. have wax guns in history. And then you're going to push down with your seal. Now, I don't have a wax gun with me, but I do have some fancy stickers. So I'm going to take one of these stickers. I'm going to take um, the creepy crawly, uh, I think this is a millipede or a centipede or something. It's quite hard to take off. I'm going to use the snail instead. You know what? I'm going to use these smiley faces instead. <laughs> I can't get my creepy crawlies to come off. Okay. So I'm going to take a, a smiley face sticker. Thank you for your patience. And I'm going to stick it over that crack in the seal. So that is now nice and stuck down. It's not super secure because it's a sticker, but that will hold really tightly. And then you can turn around and on this side, you can write your address, you can stick a stamp up here, and again, that can go in the mail. So you can post this, um, so when you're writing your letter to your friend, um, they're going to get a nice hand-folded letter, maybe with a sticker or a bit of glue underneath there to stick it down, um, and then they'll have to open it by hand. So I'm going to hand it over to Jana again now, and she's going to show us a slightly more complicated version. Um, it looks tricky at first, but stick with us, step by step, uh, and it comes up with a really, really beautiful packet. We call this the diamond letter. So we're writing our letters. So you're going to take the bottom edge, the short edge, and align it to the top edge. And then you're going to fold the top edge that is open, the top two edges down towards the camera towards us. Then you're going to take your sheet of paper and you're going to fold it in half, short edge to short edge. Just to set that fold so the next steps are easy. Do you see that little flap we made? You're going to have that be towards the table. You don't have to work in the air like we are. And then you're going to take, I'm going to flip it around so that this flappy bit is, a, is, towards, is towards me, okay? And then you're going to fold your paper so that these top corners align with that center fold that you just made. So you'll see you have a strip of paper here at the bottom. These aren't coming all the way down to the bottom. You need this strip. You and you're going to... That first fold you made has now come out really beautifully on the front. Are you ready? And you're going to... You want to kind of keep these flappy bits from moving around. So you're going to use that extra bit of your letter that's at the bottom to overlap those folds, kind of hold them in place. So it kind of looks like a paper hat, doesn't it? Then you're going to fold these little tiny edges over. 
Then when you turn your letter around, you can see that you have this little triangle shaped pocket. You're gonna take the bottom uh, pointy tips of your triangle and you're gonna tuck them in to the small triangle pocket. And then we're gonna put stickers or stamps or wax right there to keep it shut. You'll definitely wanna work on the table. <laughs> Why, because I don't have wax. This is the pocket where I tuck those final tips into and take one of my smiley face stickers. And you don't need to stop at one sticker. You could put lots of stickers on that. More stickers, the better, I see. I agree. And then you need to write your address across these fancy panels. And again, you can put a stamp on that and send it in the mail. So we think that would be a really, really lovely thing for someone to receive especially if they haven't been able to go out for a while. <laughs> so those are three different kinds of letter locking packets you can make at home without any special equipment. Um, and so we hope you enjoy writing and locking lots of letters. Have fun. We'll see you next time.